Hey there everyone, my name is Murray, welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at these little uh, lower thirds. <sighs> lower thirds, lower thirds, they're lower thirds. Oh boy. Nathaniel Dodson created them, uh, he's with Tutvid, you might know of him. Uh, he just recently did these new call out, not call out titles, lower thirds. Oh boy. <clears throat> he did these lower thirds really recently, kind of rebranded the channel a little bit. And uh, I wanted to kind of recreate it, see if I could, and uh, see if we can create something very similar, if not exact. Um, it's slightly different, but pretty much the same. That didn't make any sense, but let's jump into the tutorial. <laughs> that was all over the place. <clears throat> Wouldn't it be funny if I used that take? Okay, and here we are in After Effects. You can see I've got my composition right here. This is the whole final thing, but let's go ahead and start with a new composition. But first, I'm going to hide my face cam so that you can see everything. It also makes things easier for me to edit. <laughs> let's jump in. Oh, and uh, just a quick note, you can get this for free on the store. You can download it, use the coupon FREE at checkout, get it 100% free. You don't have to do any credit card details or anything like that. Um, it will be listed as a dollar if you do decide to help me out and give me some support. And if you do pay for it, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. But uh, let's get started. So uh, this is the comp composition. Let's just uh, create a new one here. And I'm going to just do 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to click OK. And I'm just going to resize everything so I can keep it the way I want. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a shape. So I'm going to grab the pen tool. I'm going to go about halfway. Uh, I'm going to make sure my rulers are up by pressing Control R or Command R. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my mouse over the ruler, click and drag, and I'm going to grab a ruler or a, a marker. I don't really know what you want to call it. I'm going to do the same thing from the top. I'm going to create like a, a cross here. This is where it's going to start. I'm going to do the same thing for uh, for about here. You'll understand why I'm doing that. This is kind of where the first start, first thing begins, essentially. Uh, the, little, the little lip thing. And uh, I'm going to create another one over here. Maybe I should drag this over a little bit. So something like that. I'm going to create another one. Um, about like that, maybe. Actually, let's, uh, let's use more of this. So maybe like that. I drag this over a bit more. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to click and drag like that. I'm actually going to get another ruler. Uh, let's make it about that big, I guess. Okay, drag it like that again. I'm going to hold the space bar whilst I'm clicking and dragging because then I can actually move the whole thing. And next, I'm just going to create another one here. I'm going to probably do another one here, I'd say, and then go back up like this. Kind of just draw your shape out. And I will adjust this all in just a second. Okay, so we have this shape so far. What I'm going to do is just get my selection tool. I'm going to drag these and they'll they'll snap onto these. Actually, I need to get another one here. Let's drag that there. And uh, that's going to pop there. I'm going to make it a line there. And these will snap into place on these joins. Nice, looking good so far. I'm going to get another one over here. And uh, this is looking good so far. He's snapped all in pretty well. Okay, looking pretty decent. Next, we're going to create the next one. Let's just name this real quick. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure this is deselected. I'm going to grab my pen tool again. And uh, let's see. Let's uh, show this so I can actually see it. There we go. All right, deselect it, grab my pen tool. And now I'm going to look here to see where this bend kind of starts. I'm gonna just go next to it and create another another shape layer here. I'm gonna drag it out and uh, we're gonna make a curve kind of thing. We're gonna create another one here. And then you can always go back for reference if you want. So I'm just gonna go back here and just remember, okay, so it's kind of a curve thing. All right, so there's the curve there and this is gonna go down like this. I grab another ruler. And I'm just gonna grab these rulers just so I don't have to do it later. Actually, I don't need that one. I can drag all the way out to get rid of it. Okay, and this is going to be over here. This is going to be over here. Let's make this a bit smaller. Grab that, get it next to there. And I'm just going to go back for a reference. Okay, so I actually need to get this all the way up here. Like that, and take this one. 
Uh, let's see, get a bit thicker. So there, okay, I'm gonna bring this back up to here. I'm actually take this down a little bit. So that looks like that. Get that there and this, we're gonna move this. Uh, no, that's okay, I guess. Grab another ruler here, put that there. Actually, we're gonna drag that up. And this kind of just takes a bit of time, get your shape right. And drag another thing here. Okay, we're gonna make that a little smaller, I think. Nice thing is it snaps to these lines, so there's no big issue with that. Drag that there, and then get ready to bring this back up like this, and then connect it all. Super. I'm actually gonna, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drag these down a bit more. Uh, that's too much. There we go. I'm just gonna essentially resize this a little bit, make it look a little better, because I wanna cover this bottom part here. So there I'd say, uh, we do need to make this one a little smaller here. Uh, take that out a bit. I do need to adjust this other one. Let's just name this real quick. I'm just gonna select my other layer here and uh, just toggle this, click on the shape because I wanna adjust these properties real quick. So I'm gonna drag this back up a bit, make this turn a little less aggressive. Let's just zoom out real quick. Let's get this pixel up to four. Okay, so now we can see what's going on. Now you can hold control and this button on screen, I don't even know what you call it, to hide the guidelines for a bit. Just going to select this line over here. Just get it looking all good. So I'm going to show those again. Select this one. Let's go into its properties. Go to the shape. I'm going to select this little guy. Drag it down a bit so that I can hide that horrible join. And I'm going to make this go down a bit. Okay, and uh, that looks pretty decent so far. Let's see, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna show those guidelines again. I'm actually going to take this whole line down. So let's grab the shape here, drag it all the way down to there. Let's do the same for this one. That's looking good, much better. Now I just gotta adjust this again. Let's take that there, select this other layer here. Grab the shape, make a couple adjustments. Okay, looking pretty decent. Actually, I need to adjust this a little. And this just takes a whole bunch of experimenting and just getting it to look right. That's kind of what we got here. So just to solo this, that's what this one shape layer looks like here. Uh, and uh, let's unsolo that and just show this one. That's what this one looks like. So pretty nice. Let's uh, go to our reference here, see what we got. It looks very similar. I'm just going to unsolo that. And so that's what that shape layer looks like. Now I'm going to add the fills because before it was distracting. I'm going to change the color of the stroke to something dark. Obviously you do it whatever you want. I'm going to add the fill. Let's add the stroke a bit thicker. Okay, that looks pretty decent. I'm going to go to the other one now, do the same thing. Okay, looks great. You can see that this top layer is little, t it goes out too far in my opinion. Um, you can obviously have it how far you want, but I'm going to reduce it a little bit. So I'm going to show those those rulers again. I'm going to reduce the distance by at least half. So, okay, let's grab the shape. Let's drag those here, just like that. Perfect. All right, that looks much better, I think. All right, next thing we're going to do is uh, something that might be a little unconventional. Um, usually you might use a trim path or something to reveal this but I tried that and there's just a lot of issues that comes with it so I figured out an easier way to do this. So instead of using the trim paths on your shape layers uh, I'm actually gonna do something different. Let's pre-compose each layer into their own layers so Control shift C. I'm just gonna keep the same name. Do the same thing for the other one. All right, so now there's still, there's nothing that's changed. They're just in this composition. So what I'm gonna do next is grab the shape one. I'm gonna grab a mask. I'm just gonna essentially have the mask there and I'm gonna go to the mask properties, keyframe the path, drag it forward in time a little bit, and then move the whole mask path until everything's gone. So this is essentially what it would look like now. It'll do that reveal. Uh, nice and cool. Uh, just real quick, I'm going to press F9 with them selected and I'm going to go into the graph editor. I'm just going to zoom in here and I'm going to make sure that I have the speed graph 
uh, selected here. I'm going to select this and I'm going to just give it some, some spunk essentially. So if I just do a preview here, you'll see that it starts off fast and kind of slows down a bit, which is nice. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. So uh, let's see, let's have that out. And as soon as it it's here, I guess, so right there, I'm going to start the other one. So let's grab the mask, create a mask on this one. Okay, go to the mask path, keyframe it, drag it forward in time, and then take it all the way back, grab my selection tool and drag it all the way back here. All right, and so I'm gonna get once the other one gets to, let's take this down a bit. As soon as that gets towards the end, I'm gonna start the other one. Let's press F9, just easy ease them, give them some motion here, looking good. Once that comes in, then this will start, this needs to start sooner, right about there I'd say. No, it needs to be sooner even. So, take that out, like that maybe. Okay, let's take a look. Very nice. And so you can see, it starts off fast, oh sorry, it starts off slow and goes fast. So looking very cool, there's our animation. And keep in mind, if you wanna make this bigger, just go into your shape layer here, Click on your shape, do your control thingy majig to show your rulers and uh, you can make it bigger for your text. So I'm going to drag this down and I'm going to drag this down. Actually, let's do it even more. Let's exaggerate it a little bit. All right. So then I'm going to grab the properties here. So go into my contents, grab the shape, grab the keyframes and just adjust it like so. I'm going to drag this down a bit more. Perfect, and I'm gonna adjust this as well. Very nice. Go back into the other composition and it's updated as well. So that's very cool. Next thing is we're gonna do the text. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna collapse these real quick, grab some text. So that's about centered. Next, we're gonna get our other text. I'm gonna duplicate it two more times and just rename them. And then I'm just gonna kind of center these. Actually, the nice thing you can do is grab them Go to your align panel and you can align them like so and uh, let's grab their position we can just adjust their position whoops wrong one drag that in let's move the editor a bit in and the filmmaking let's try and keep the same distance between them i'm going to move all of them at the same time as well kind of get them centered with the murray frost and then i'm going to grab my circle here make sure nothing's selected here so it's a shape i'm going to hold shift i'm going to remove the stroke I'm going to make the circle black. I'm going to kind of put it in the middle here and I'm just going to scale it down to maybe 10% or so. Let's just move it back here. This might be a little big, but uh, this is just kind of showing you how I created this. Those dots are too big, so make them smaller. All right, that looks pretty good. Do this one as well. All right, so that's nice. That's how, let's say that's how I wanted it to look. Just for the sake of time, I'm going to say I'm happy with that. Then I'm just going to pre-compose the texts. And I'm going to go ahead and open that. Uh, before that, actually, I'm going to go to my composition here. And as soon as the animation finishes, uh, so right about there, let's have the text kind of slide in. So right over here is nice. Make sure your, your timeline indicators here. Then when you go into your next composition, it'll be over here and you'll know that's, that's where I need to be. So I'm just going to zoom in over there. And uh, I'm going to just create an alpha channel here so you can see what's going on. Select them, press the P for properties, keyframe their position. I'm going to drag that forward in time and then I'm going to move these down. So if I go back here, you'll see that it's gone, but you'll see that it's still here. So we'll fix that. Don't worry. What we're going to do is we're going to stagger these a bit. So let's have the Murray Frost come in a little bit sooner and uh, the rest of the text come in a little later. So it kind of looks like that kind of thing, maybe a bit later. And what we're going to do is we're going to easy ease them. So F9, go into the editor here. We're going to give them a bit of accent essentially. So if I'm just going to select this, you're going to do have to do every single one of these so that they come in fast and they kind of slow down as they kind of come to their final resting point. And then I'm going to do the same with the Murray text. That's this one. So it's going to come in fast and slow down as it, as it comes to a stop. So if I just zoom in here, I'll zoom out, I mean, and just do a round preview. So this is what the movement will look like. Very nice. 
Let's go back here, let's see what that would look like. Okay, so it goes a little too fast, so let's spread out the keyframes a bit. Okay, looking good. So now, how do we stop this text from showing at the bottom here? Well, the easiest way to do that is essentially have a mask on here. So let's do a mask, grab the rectangle tool, the layer selected, and have that so that the mask is just on top of this black here so that when you see it move in, it does that. One other nice way you can do it is if you just delete this mask real quick. Another way you can do this, because if you just have your text resting here the whole time without the animation in, what you can do is duplicate the shape layer at the bottom here. So control D, drag it to the top. Make sure this is after all of your animations. So this is the last step you do. Next with the text layer, do alpha mat, and it'll only appear over the shape that you have so it'll it'll take into account everything except the alpha channel so if it's underneath this shape layer it won't show up but once it shows up it'll appear there the reason why i use a mask sometimes it's easier but if you have a lot of moving parts you can use alpha mat um, one other thing you must note is if the text is the same color as the outline here it, you won't have this issue where you'll see the text over that but otherwise it'll be fine so that's that that's pretty much the whole tutorial um, and uh, with the animation in obviously you have it animate out and you just you can basically do the same you can duplicate these keyframes these ones over here and just reverse them or another way you can do this is if you just select them all pre-compose them Control shift c call it whatever you want Let's say, let's say at four seconds in, you wanted to kind of start going back out. So control shift D to kind of separate those layers. And I'm just going to duplicate this. I'm going to drag it out so that it's way at the end here. Then I'm going to right click, go to time, time reverse layer. And so now once it animates in, it does its thing. And then it's going to reverse out and animate out. All right. So if I do a RAM preview here, you can see there it animates in, beautiful animation, looks good, up long enough, and then it's gonna reverse and animate out. So, very nice. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing. I am gonna be making more in the future. Uh, leave a like as well, that would really help the channel out and I appreciate it. You can get this whole thing for free, use the coupon free at checkout. No credit card details needed or anything like that. Um, the download is listed as a dollar if you do decide to help me out and if you did download it or and pay for it I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much But remember until next time keep smiling keep shooting I like that take Yes <clears throat> But other otherwise oh, that was such a perfect take I am gonna be making more in the future and uh I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs>